Hello everybody and welcome to my second round World Cup predictions. I'll be making four of these, one for each quarter of the draw. And here's the first quarter. I, as you can see I've put stars for who I predicted and I've got five out of eight right. Um, a couple were close like uh, Wolfbark and Gdanik I think could have gone it either way and Sage won on penalty kicks uh, down there. So there's, there's who's through the next round and let's have a look see what they've done with their skills and do the predictions. So Drick has taken mighty blow on his tackle war dancer, which is uh, a choice I certainly agree with. And uh, yeah, they're looking good, aren't they? Obviously, won the first won the first game pretty easily, and uh, looking good. And Drick is facing striker OD, who's taken block on his death roller. So uh, that's uh, that's good. I mean, I think diamond tackle might have been better. He's got block on the runner. A mighty, another mighty blow, some guard. Um, you know, he, he could he could dice the hell out of Drick, but um, after watching his first game, I think he may struggle to defend the ball. So um, I'm going to go for, for Drick here for sure. So next up is Wolfbark versus Ungern. And Wolfbark has gone for guard on his mummy. He has passed up on the chance of a, a double. And I think that's, that's a fine call. I mean... The only double I would want would be, well, blocking a mummy or guard on a ghoul. If he takes guard in this ghoul, it's, it's not such a good ball carrier. So, yeah, and you know, guard on... He could have taken guard on the white, but then he might want mighty blow later to, to combo with a tackle. So, I think the guard, guard on a strength five guy is always a good idea. And while most people went for block on their ogre, Udengern has gone for leader, which is... I don't know, it's a bit of a waste of a double because he could have he could have taken it as a normal on his thrower. I think he may have got more value from block on the ogre there, but I see why he's done it. He's got 13 players and two rerolls. So maybe his idea was always to get leader for the second game. And uh, yeah, I mean that, that, he's basically giving up a skill for a, for another reserve, isn't he? So it makes sense within his build. Makes his build look better than it did in the first round. However, I think even after one game, Undead are catching up to humans for, for like team power. So I'm going to back Wolfbark in that one. Now we have probably the tie of the round in this quarter of the draw. Velahopia versus Silse. Velahopia with guard on his catcher. I like that very much. Um, four guard total. He does regret the block on the throw, he told me. He would have rather had Mighty Blow on the Blitzer. But still, you know, that's the three guards good. Block on the throw did save did save the thrower in, in the first game. So it's 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 not bad, is it, uh, to have. So yeah, pretty strong human team and a very strong coach, having one chance ladder with humans. And he's up against Silse, who's given block to his mummy. And this now he's out guarded he's out guarded four to one here, isn't he, in this game, Silse, which is going to be uncomfortable unless he gets removals with his strength 5 mighty blow guys um, I'm, I'm a little bit surprised because he's got two block ghouls that was basically in my mind setting one up for sure hands and one up for guard after the first game so you know you give one guard after game one and then the other one can take sure hands if you play wood elves um, but he didn't go for that he went for the block and the mummy and it's a fine choice but I think he may struggle with a lack of guard so for that reason I pick Vela Hope here Next up we have Sage versus Mr. Light. Sage has gone for block on his mummy, which is not only a standard choice, it also helps him against the dwarves who have lots of block. His mummy may be getting uphilled, he may be making a lot of blocks with his mummies these ga this game. So I think that's a good choice of skill. I'm of course still, still really don't like only having two ghouls. I think three would have made a lot more sense. Like I can understand the rationale between, behind limiting yourself to three ghouls, I personally would always go with four, but I can see the point of three. I do think two is light, um, but I like you know I, I like the block in the mummy. Maybe maybe you could have gone another guard, um, like Wolfbark passed on the double for more guard is certainly certainly a fine idea. But uh, the block could really be relevant with a you know presumably a lot of blocks are going to happen in this game. Now dwarves don't really need their doubles, so Mister Light has gone for a fifth guard. So he's out guarding Sage 5-2. Of course, Sage is out strengthening him with the two 
mummies. But um, yeah, I think dwarves are going to look better as the tournament goes on as they just stack more and more guard on the team. Uh, and yeah, I can't really, I can't really go for it. I, I can't, I can't back a two ghoul team. Um, I do think Sage is good enough for the world to win the World Cup. I just think he hasn't given himself the best chance with his racial choice. Well, not racial choice, team choice. So I'm going to back Mr. Light to beat him in this round. So there are the stars for the predictions. You know, I mean, all the games could go out anyway, of course. There's loads of dice in Blood Bowl and, uh, you know, I, <laughs> you know, these are, these picks are really just my feelings of more of the team build than anything. It's not, it's not uh, in any way, you know, anything serious. Um, so, yeah, I'm interested to see all the games. And I will be putting all of the replays on my YouTube channel. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.